Hello, I'm Roger Rogers. I'm from the United States, Harrison, Arkansas. I'm a missionary and pastor to uh, Columbia. Um, Columbia was not on my radar, but last year I came for the first time in uh, February with a missionary from my church. And ever since I left, I wanted to come back. So I came back in August. Uh, we began doing missionary work in areas in Colombia, such as Codito, uh, Panama Sawacha, um, Patio Benito, Bosa. Uh, part of the reason we were there is we had contacts in these cities, but the other part was because of the need. Um, in certain areas, we've been ministering to children. We give them uh, eyeglasses, food. Uh, we also um, provide activities and do uh, go and visit people in their homes and pray for them in their homes, let them know uh, the, the important for me is to let them know that we really care about them uh, because in some of the areas there seems to be no hope but when we go people respond very well and it's very a uh, very positive response uh, when we come and uh, that's just very gratifying because I want to be uh, where I can help someone um, and uh, being a missionary in Latin America is not something I planned but it is now something that's all I think about um, because uh, I feel like the Latin America people um, are, are like people everywhere. They, they need help, but I just feel just a, a call because the Latin American people are so genuine, so friendly, especially here in Colombia, here in Bogota, and they're also very appreciative of what, they, what you do. And it's good to be appreciated, although I would do the work whether I was appreciated or not, but it's good to know that people are appreciative of the efforts you're trying to make. Um, and because of all that, I decided to, to really learn Spanish. I started over a year ago with programs such as Duolingo, and there was a program called Pimsleur. They, they helped, but they weren't as good uh, as they could have been for me. So in August, after I came for three weeks to Colombia, I knew if I come back, I needed to study Spanish. So I enrolled in Nueva Lingua, um, and I'm at the end of my five weeks now. It's been very beneficial, um, not only uh, learning proper Spanish, but also being able to practice Spanish daily, practice with the professors, practice in the city, um, and also to help build my confidence to be able to speak in Spanish has been um, very important to me. And uh, for me, uh, it's important that to be able to communicate with people. That's why I want to learn and to show people that I respect their, their heritage and their community, but I want to be able to communicate without having someone translate for me. And it's just very gratifying to be able to do that. And as far as for the people of South America and Colombia, I just want to encourage you, and for, for everyone, in fact, that um, we, we need to continue to learn um, the Bible says that wisdom is the principal thing and we need to seek after wisdom and knowledge no matter how old you are I'm 52 years old and I'm learning Spanish and I'm enjoying it very much but whether I was 52 or 72 I can continue to learn uh, you never stop learning so always continue to learn because wisdom will help you to grow and to move beyond your circumstances thank you